PK yeah. Chris. You yeah. can pretty much guarantee Ness. I mean, both the, both of them were uh, repping the Long Island scene. Rep, mm -hmm. uh, I believe they both were also at Aeon last night. Or uh, so that was. I mean, they're going through their own weekly tournament, prepped for um, one of the biggest Xeno sagas post quarantine. So mm -hmm. we're here for that. We're here for doubles, and. What better than yet another Lucina on screen, which is, yep. I mean, Lucina has been proving time and time again an amazing doubles character. Uh, which, to the point where Mono, m normally known for their Marth, is like, I, in the chaos of doubles, I'm not even going to be able to space most of the time properly for Marth to be broken. Yeah. So we'll just go with the Lucina. Yeah, it's just, um, right now, it seems kind of everything's kind of pretty much even. Uh, they're pretty much keeping it all together. And God, it looks like because typically in doubles people kind of go off in like one v ones, but this time it kind of feels like everyone's hitting everyone. I feel like it's a total dependent on uh, on character style, yeah, which is uh, like in a, in the sense of Hero wants to have space, so you want to have the time to throw out your moves and to pull up your menu to be the character you can be. But yeah. with Yoshi and Ness. Since they all both have amazing airspeed and a knack for pressing buttons out of hit stun, forcing big pileups and big scrambles almost always means you're going to be able to win those trades. Especially since um, both Joker and Lucina, while they are incredibly fast and able to control space, they don't do as well once they lose that. Joker, an incredibly comboable character, and Suarez kind of <laughs> knows, yeah. how to, knows how to combo. <laughs> Definitely knows how to combo. <laughs> the man came out of the womb knowing how to combo. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> controller at one and just understood. <laughs> Here we are set, trying to set the light trap. I like the roll-in from Mono in order to get out there, uh, mm -hmm. to get back to center and to put himself between both Suarez and PK Chris. It forces them to have a little bit more to think about because you could get punished while trying to set up your two uh, your two on one ledge trapping. Yeah. If honestly, I'm pretty. Sh I I'm surprised that like, Yoshi and I keep saying Yoshi. Hello, but um, <laughs> <laughs> PK Chris and Suarez haven't really been using their protectile at all that often, especially against like well, Joker has protectile. He has you know Aha, but um, Lucina is of course a sortie, and I feel like they would just de benefit a little bit more from using their protectiles in order to keep her at bay because she's really good up close and just game both characters easily by herself. Um, but there she goes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a rough one to be at, and I like the I like the little bit of that movement from Prek, able to get a grab and prolong the inevitable, but end up getting clipped by Yoshi back air, which mm -hmm. is an absolutely insane move, by the way. I mean, I I subscribe to the Book of Pharaoh. I know that Yoshi back air commits crimes, but a Yoshi without a <laughs> jump is certainly going, something to be worried about. Yet the air dodge able to just get on and protection from PK Chris too absolutely beneficial to extend this lead even further. Only 80% on the second stock, and Suarez looking completely fresh. Completely untouched, really. Yeah. That He just lost his first stock, first of all. And everyone else is pretty much at, well, Mono and Pro, of course, have a kill percentage. Right. And with their, one, with their last stock, and PK Chris, yep, there goes. Wrapping up Mono with that mm -hmm. PK fire. Not even trying to go for any fancy stuff off of the PSI mat. Oh, hello! <laughs> That's a dead Joker. Yeah, that definitely is dead Joker. The yo-yo. Let's get a look at that last stock because yo-yo into the forward, the mm -hmm. attempted spike from from Suarez, which was which would have been crazy. It's like, but he, yeah. Oh, just missing the sweet spot. But that mm -hmm. was that's a. But here it is. Yep. It's a super cheeky setup, and uh, I mean Joker already doesn't have many options when it comes to having Arsene as a. Uh, having Arsene active, the biggest weakness of, of course, that buff is that Joker doesn't have the flexibility that comes from being able to shoot gun and stall because mm -hmm. you have to shoot three bullets. Exactly, yeah. Uh, the You don't have the timing that comes from cable and cable cancels, so you just, I press up B and I pray. <laughs> <laughs> I press up B and I hope. Yeah, like here with that whole setup, actually, the, so Yoshi... I keep calling that the character. I'm so funny, but um, like the egg came in, came up and hit PK Chris, and that actually gave him an extra jump to like, cause he lost his jump, I believe, and that gave him the extra jump in order to do his uh, his for his fair into killing, rest in peace, a Joker. Rest, Requiescat in pace. 
Right, the swap right. No, no character swap. Nope, just okay, going not. straight into town and city is the pick. Uh, banning the Lila and Yoshi stories. Yoshi story. Mo mo multiple stories. Maybe Yoshi has a sequel. We never know. Yoshi. <laughs> you know what? Me and Yoshi, so Yoshi story have have a history. Okay, I have a dialogue <laughs> with that stage. Okay, I <laughs> That's just nefarious. But I wonder if if they believe that there's going to be an advantage with the extra. Because what was the last uh. Last stage was PS2, PS2 correct? Yeah. So the, the extra platform, I believe it might be proving useful maybe for um, Lucina and both Joker with the middle platform being available to them. And also that the side platforms are a little more spaced out, so it gives Lucina a little more space to talk, to like walk around and, you know, do her little sword magic. Yeah, you're natively a little bit quicker, mm -hmm. especially as Joker, than everyone else on the screen. So you're trying to have that extra space to move about, not force as many scrambles, and instead, like, play, uh, force. 2v1 in neutral interactions that yep. are always get uh, always net you advantage. The problem here lies in the f that when it comes to raw kill potential, without our Sen online, uh, both Suarez and PK Chris are going to have a net advantage, especially mm -hmm. on the smaller side blast zones, because of how p uh, potent things like Nest Backer are at killing, how good things like the uh, jab setups and the tech chase setups are with Yoshi. But the first stock falling as Mono is able to clean up we using that dish joint to keep themselves safe. And then go the second stop by both first off from Suarez. And it just looks like Mono's trying to clean it up and make sure that uh, PK Chris is able Oh no, but PK Chris said absolutely not and took out Mono's first stock as well. So here comes PK Chris, three stocks, high percentage, easily killable by honestly anyone, even his own teammate, because of course team damage is on. Of course. And, and there uh, is and that there it is. Yeah. Yep. I want to shout out to, to uh, PK Chris's mash out of grab, by the way, mm -hmm. because it looked like uh, Pret got a grab and Mono was just going to run up and up tilt, but they mashed out and were able to get away from that should have been a kill at 160, surviving that little bit of longer and end up Pret dying first, which is only a little bit more tempo in your advantage. Just a couple up airs from PK Chris. Keep this train rolling. Suarez may have to do a little bit of a precarious... Oh, is it a yep. certainly precarious spot? Ooh. Uh, but Mono made it back. I really thought that was in the Mono, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, looking for the... Hunting for the kill, but Pret over committing on the runoff. Was looking mm -hmm. for an edge guard, but able to survive mm -hmm. just carefully. Man, you know PK Chris was out for oh, blood. This Pret kills their Pret teammate just killed. and yep. dies oh themselves. My God. A whole lot happened. Pret killed his teammate, <laughs> and like, then Mono just lost. I believe Mono just lost their stock. Correct? Yeah. Everyone just lost their stock, except for I believe Suarez. Yes. Yeah. Pret and uh, no, P I think PK Chris and Suarez got out of that whole interaction as Mono just straight ah, up okay. drops. That's so that be, rough. Yep, that's game. That's rough killing your teammate. Yeah, it, the Pret took out Mono, mm -hmm. then looked for a further edge guard on PK Chris. I, I believe this is that and interaction. It went, yep. It's like, all right, I have to wrap this up. I have to get a trade. And misses the back air. Mistimes the back air by ah, literal frames. I see what happened, yeah. yeah. So it was... Uh, it was PK Chris who took out Pret's stock. However, I believe the setup from Mono was what really jerk, like messed him up. Yeah, and, and I mean, you did technically trade with PK Chris because uh, Chris ended up falling, yep. not able to reach the ledge off of getting, uh, getting interrupted. But just by the fact that you... As PK Chris, it's like, all right, my opponent died, my opponent fell, yeah. and then I took the stock trade on PK Thunder. Like, that's a two-for-one trade. When they were already winning. Yeah. That's incredible. 